you have learned quite a few things about C Sharp now. There are still lots of things to learn, but you have enough fundamentals to try and make an application of your own. It is important to follow along and understand code as we go through these lessons, but just as important and something overlooked for many learning topics is to try and do something yourself. The longer you watch somebody do something and follow along and remember what's happened, you feel like you have learned that knowledge and understood what has happened. It is only then when you have to stand on your own two feet, think for yourself and create something that you realize you don't have the knowledge you thought. This lesson is about you creating an application yourself. No Google, no looking back, just trying to create code in Visual Studio yourself. This is how I had to learn when I was young and there was no internet around with any documentation, there was no books of any use and there was nobody to ask. I had a computer, Visual Studio and the inbuilt MSDN help and that was it. It was a struggle to make things, it was trial and error, it was a lot of breaking code, trying what worked, trying what didn't, but it worked really well. For this lesson, I want you to make an application on your own, using everything you have learned so far, you have all the knowledge through those lessons. But I want you to try and create an application on your own, without referring back to the lessons while doing so. Watch them before you start, get them fresh in your mind, and then start coding. Lock yourself in a room, don't use the internet, and just try to make the application. What you should find is that you will realize you don't quite have the knowledge you think and you have to go back and watch the videos or look something up. That is okay, but the point is to first try to create the application yourself with no help. By doing this and by starting with a blank canvas and no help, it really reinforces the knowledge you have gained and you will remember that going forward when you have to write a while loop with no assistance and you get it wrong a few times, you will then realize and remember where the parentheses and the curly braces have to go and how the loop works. If you simply follow along, you think you are learning, but you don't learn anywhere near as much. So the challenge for this lesson is to create a number guessing application. We will use a console application like we have previously and I will go through some basics with comments to explain what it is you want to create. I will also show you my working application that I've just written, and I will share the source code of this afterwards. Please don't use Google for answers and try to find out answers that way, as that is not the point of this lesson. The point of this lesson is to simply reinforce your existing knowledge through actually applying that knowledge to a real world application forcing you to think for yourself. It doesn't matter if the application doesn't work or if it's not the best application. This isn't a test that is going to be judged on the quality of the outcome. This is a test for yourself to help you better understand what you have already learned. Then for those who want, please email me your application and I can review it for you with comments on improvements, suggestions and how well you did. If you like, I will also review this in the follow-up lesson where I go over my solution as well as a few others who have sent me their solutions and we can talk over the reasons for and against certain ways. You can then also freely look at my code and try to suggest improvements on what I have written. Nobody is perfect and don't presume that what I write is the best way of doing things but again, the main purpose of this lesson isn't the test and isn't how you write, it's to show you that when you have to stand on your own two feet, you won't remember half as much as you think, but by writing and using the knowledge directly, it will reinforce that knowledge much stronger than simply re-watching other lessons. A big part of learning is to first watch and understand, and then stand on your own two feet and go for it yourself. It really helps to improve your knowledge and understanding by not looking back on existing code or Google and instead working through the problems yourself and thinking for yourself. So let's take a look at Visual Studio now and talk through what it is I want you to make. 
So here is the application. It first introduces us with welcome contestant. It then says to take a guess at what number I'm thinking of. Any number between 0 and 100. We can enter a guess, let's say 50. And it says higher. So we'll enter 80, lower, 60. And as you can see, it basically gives us a hint of whether we are too high or too low. We can continue to guess in this manner until we hopefully find the number. And there we go. The number we needed to guess was 62. It then tells us, well done, you've guessed right. I was thinking of 62. And thanks for playing. So this is the small application I want you to make on your own. Remember, no Google, no looking for hints anywhere else. You have all the knowledge you need to do this. So to give you some help, I will start you off with some basic instructions in Visual Studio. So here we are in a new application. As always, we'll start with the comments. So we'll say, say hi. We'll then do a console right line and say, welcome contestant. Next, what we need to do is to create a random number. Now, because I haven't taught you how to do this yet, I will do this one line for you. So we can create a random number. And to do that is very simple. Create a new var. We will call it number to guess. And to do this, we do new random, open and close parentheses, and then do dot next, open the parentheses. And then here, we can specify a number of the upper range to generate. So this will generate a random number, an integer. As you can see, the return value here is an integer. If we entered one, then the random number would always be zero because it excludes the upper number. If we enter two, it would generate a random number of either zero or one. As we want to guess a number between zero and 100, we will enter 101. So this number is not included, but it will be between zero and 100. So now we have the number to guess. The rest is basically up to you, but here are some hints that you can use. We will need to create a variable to store the guess. We will need to ask the user for their guess. We will need to pass the result as an integer. And as you should remember, we have done passing on many values. You should be able to pass an integer fine. There will be a while loop until we get to our desired outcome. We should have some error checking of any invalid data entered because the user is free to enter any information they like. And we should end with a message that thanks them for playing. So these are the basic criteria to follow, as well as you have seen the actual application running. Remember to use everything you have learned so far reading from the console, parsing values, while loops, if loops, and obviously commenting your code. Take your time and write it how you think it should be written without worrying about what you think the standard way of writing it is, or possibly the best way. This isn't about making it the best way. It in fact isn't even about making the application. It's ultimately about you trying to apply your knowledge of loops, whiles, ifs, elses, variables, and everything else you have learned so far. And when you put that knowledge to the test without any outside help and without looking back, it will help to reinforce your understanding. As I've mentioned, once you have completed the test, I would love to see what you have done. Feel free to email to me at contact at angel6.com or post them on the Discord server and I will take a look at the code and give feedback. Remember, if you haven't done this test yet, then don't go and look up other people's answers posted on Discord. This is about your way to write code and to learn while doing so. Good luck with the test, and I really look forward to seeing your results, and let me know what you think about writing code from scratch.